What experience have you had with bullying? Uh, as a kid, we moved uh, every two to three years, so I was always the, the new kid at schools that I went to. When I was uh, young, um, I was going to school with a girl who uh, was bullied because um, she was very spoiled and her parents would come to school and spoon feed her. I was really different from the area I grew up in. I was really like nerdy and like into like Star Wars and like really different things that people weren't into and stuff. Um, you're forever kind of impacted by that bullying experience and my experience happened from a person who I thought was going to be one of my best friends or was one of my best friends, a girl, and um, we were in band together in junior high and she began to become jealous about me. I was bullied when I was in high school. Um, grades were really important to me and so I worked really hard and um, did well in a lot of classes, especially in math. The math teacher had an unusual way of um, putting us into a seating arrangement. It was by class average. So the student with the lowest average had to sit in the front, um, and then she would, uh, one by one, as our averages went up, put us into rows. But not only did she do that, she also told everybody in the class what the average was as she put us into our seats. So the poor student who was not passing math, she would say, Joe Smith, 54%, you sit here. And then each one of us would incrementally get higher grades and get a seat further into the back. Because I loved math and was good at math, my average was high. They did not have a right to bully her, and she was a friend of mine. And I remember that particularly one day, they wanted to um, uh, attack her verbally, and the plan was after school, uh, they were very mean. I mean, some kids can be really mean. And the mom actually was also supposed to come. It was supposed to be a verbal, um, verbal fight. And uh, the mom came, and uh, the daughter, and uh, there were the other kids. and. I went home and I always felt bad since then because I think I should have stayed. The school bully you know, came up to me and, and said, you know, why don't you go back to where you came from? So you know, instead of you know, backing down, I go, well, what do you mean by that? And the next thing, I'm, well, meet me after school and I'm going to beat you up. She started to spread rumors. Well, before I knew it, I'd walk into the band hall in the mornings and nobody would talk to me. I didn't have any friends. I had one person who would be my friend. And it was like that silent bully, you know, the one that, you know, you're not, you can't tell why people aren't talking to you. And they would call me things like brainiac, um, big brains. Because I was very tall. I was sometimes tall brain. I'm not sure how clever that was, but um, I was tall brain for a while. Um, and, and it was not meant to be a compliment. It was definitely something that was uh, an insult. It was bullying. How was your experience resolved? It really wasn't. I made behavior changes. I downplayed what I knew. Um, I didn't let anybody see my grades, and luckily I was able to go to a college where good grades were highly uh, valued, and and I was able to do better. Um, interestingly, because college was harder than high school, I didn't get as good of grades there, so it wasn't really an issue anymore. One day I just learned to really love who I was and not really care about the opinions of others and just move forward in my life because it made it happy. I should have stood up for her, but I think I was too immature and too scared. People started realizing that this friend, that I had friend, was really not a friend, and she had proven to others that she wasn't a friend and lied to them, and then admitted to lying about me having said comments. And I'll never forget the day I just finished lunch, and. 
a girl that hadn't talked to me in months came up to me and profusely apologizes to me. Uh, that happened to me again one week ago. And uh, it happened in one of the social networks uh, on Facebook. Uh, there was a friend of mine who was uh, again verbally attacked by other friends on Facebook uh, and accusing him wrongly for, for things about his personality and bullying him, really bullying him. And I felt saying things, something and writing something, but you know, some, sometimes you don't want, it's much more convenient to hide on the back and be like, hey, I'm out of this, you know, and to just be an observer. And uh, I guess I still have the opportunity to go and write something in his defense. And I hope I take this opportunity. So I, I met the kid after school and, uh, you know, he, he was going to fight. And I said, no, listen, I don't want to fight you. I just, you know, and next thing you know, the kid became my friend. He became less of a bully and uh, it worked out pretty well. Actually stand up. You don't have to fight, but you have to stand your ground. And uh, most time the, the bullies are, are actually kind of cowards. They might 